you guys I'm just going to be showing my app layout and home screens and show some of the apps I use <laughs> Okay, to start out, as you can see, on my this is my main home screen. I use Launcher Pro. If you've seen my other video, which has that, my main ones right here. I have a Wi-Fi switch, a GPS switch, a Bluetooth switch. I could have a airplane mode, but instead I have my um, little power meter right there. It goes in 10% increments. I have speed test, which I like to use a lot to test data speed. I have the market settings task manager, which uh, you're not supposed to use an Android, but I use it because sometimes an app gets stuck running that will use your data. Like, for instance, Facebook, if you don't want it to check for status updates at like certain times, or you just don't feel like every app finding a way to cancel or change the settings so it doesn't update automatically. You can, in the task manager, I have it set for 15 minutes after I shut off the screen to close out any apps that are running so in case there is a data intensive app in the background it will close out so it will stop using data okay and I have news I have some random news stuff because I like keeping up on stuff I have notes I use for school I have a to-do list just random things in it I have the your battery life widget which when you have it enabled when you turn off the screen it will disable your data so you can um, say battery life which it does work after what I've found and you can enable it for a certain amount of time and I have Facebook log, log me in which I've reviewed if you go on my channel uh, YouTube and a data usage so I know how much data I'm using and you have your phone your calendar, your app bar, your messenger, and your browser. And then I can also go over, have, um, what is that, a clock, and calendar, um, media player, pictures, and calculator. Okay. On the page to the left, I have weather apps at the top. I have, I, I guess, shopping apps, and uh, coupons. Google Goggles, the layers, Google Sky Map, like two dictionaries. And this funny stuff. Shazam, Google Translate. And I have benchmarks for my phone. And the bubble app compass convert for a whole bunch of different units. I have documents to go in the not paid version. Motor Torch is a cool flashlight app for the LEDs. My Verizon shows like how many minutes you've used and so forth about your plan. It's a PayPal app, the Photoshop app, the Wi Fi analyzer is cool. Um, metal detector, which actually works, which is weird. Um, Adobe Reader, periodic table. Speedometer, which works as well. Astro File Manager. And you have FM Radio, TuneWiki, G Strings, which is like a tuner, which works as well. Not as good as a real tuner, but it still works if you want it for free. You, know, you make your own ring ringtones and then Mic Droid as well. I like Auto Tune. Then over here, I like Skype, Frame, Quick, Ustream. This is like my page for more data heavy apps. I have Bump, Pandora, Ustream, Vonage, um, Maps, Google Earth, and, and all the others, as you can see. I have this is just my random page for just random stuff. As you see, I've got the apps and a ton of soundboards. have. I have separated my games. So I tried to at least into one page. I like greedy games here. I have like that casual games. I have my emulators right here. I don't. I that the S N E S is the only one I haven't paid for. Um, 
And you have these games, multiplayer games. Those are my all my apps. And then I have some more in here I don't use very often. I'm not sure how many I have, but I'm have quite a lot. If you have any questions about any of the apps, please comment. I I will make a video. I'm going to be making videos uh, on a lot of these apps soon. I've already made one on LogMeIn and the Launcher Pro app. If you look at my channel, uh, please subscribe. Uh, ask me to make on any apps you see here or different apps you recommend me. And thanks for watching.